Mr. Parker to do uh, DVD Fiends Rio. It's week one oh, uh, 103, almost two years to next week will be. I was going to do this for my own channel, but I decided uh, I'll do it for this channel because I don't have time to do all these reviews. But the movie I'll be reviewing is Bad Karma. This is a, a German edition, released in 2002. I got some help with uh, Preston from Facebook. He sent me the link to buy this because I really wanted it. This actually comes with four shorts on there by uh, Alex Chandon, who directed uh, Cradle of Fear and uh, Bravella. Uh, the four shorts are Bad Karma. These movies are known to be like splatter, like early British splatter stuff, which is really cool. Uh, some people credit the first splatter film or something like that as Bad Karma. A bad Karma basically is, they're all really low budget, really gritty, really fun, uh, awesome stuff. Bad Karma basically is uh, about a group of religious, higher Krishna people that uh, are shape-shifting killers and they need to kill a certain amount of people before a time and it goes crazy. They end up killing all these people at a party and the one's really awesome because he transforms into like this thing with claws and starts killing people. Over the top gore and uh, at the very end there's an awesome showdown in an S&M club with uh, some punk guys versus the monsters and these rednecks bust in. All sorts of ridiculous, stupid, cheesy, gory fun ensues. <clears throat> it's only 30 minutes short so it gets straight to the point. At one point one of the things transforms into this giant blob thing on the back. Like right there with all his teeth and it's like Arr! it looks like he just dances in there. If <laughs> it's not it's just like Arr! and eating and shit. It's funny. But uh, the next one was my favorite. It's Drill Bit, which is uh, awesomely narrated by Jim Van Beber. It looks like it was like a, a short to be, get money to make a full-length feature. And Jim Van Beber's narrating it with these like cre like cheesy-ass taglines. He's like, in a world of depravity. It's fucking hilarious. And he like at one point he's like, no one screams ah, or something like that. It's funny to hear him narrating. Drill Bit basically follows in the world, the future... Everyone, like, four out of five people have AIDS, and there's no cure for it. And the cure ends up being, like, this disease that turns everyone into zombies because this doctor's evil and uh, kills this one kid's parents, like, because uh, his dad's a doctor and has the cure and tells everyone that it's bad. But he kills them, so uh, he, they don't stop production on it. And it gets everywhere, of course. And uh, everyone turns to zombies. Meanwhile, uh, the kid actually gets really messed up. They put a drill in his head, and hence why it's called Drill Bit. And the drill's stuck in his brain. He's all crazy and shit. And he basically starts vengeance on the streets. He kills a whole bunch of, uh, there's these group of bikers out there. There's a really funny scene with the bikers. And there's all these mutants out there and all sorts of crazy crap. It's really awesome and gory and would be insane if it was a feature length. I would love to see this as a feature length. I, I'm not holding my breath, though. Again, it's only 30 minutes long. It's really entertaining. It's really uh, crazy post-apocalyptic, AIDS-ridden zombie mutants. If that sounds like it's something you'd like, check it out. Drill bit. It's awesome. And uh, Jim Van Beber with narrating makes it even that much funnier. But uh, there's a hilarious scene with the bikers where they're like, they're like we're looking for, for food and things to fuck. It's just awesome. And then there's uh, two other ones on here too. You get a really short one called Night Pastor that's like nine minutes. It's basically this perverted priest in like a seedy uh, city and he gets a sign from God supposedly and he ends up going around and killing people and he's in like the confessional booth jerking off, stuff like that. Only nine minutes. Goofy, crazy, sleazy stuff. And the last is Chainsaw Scumfuck which is six minutes long but it's basically about a crazy mad killer cutting people up and eating them and doing all sorts of crazy things. Uh, pretty cool stuff actually as well. Uh, that one's more comedic than anything. But uh, they're all really good, and I would highly recommend this DVD if you can get your hands on it. Pretty rare, not very easy stuff to find. Uh, I got some good luck on this, but I would recommend checking this out. Uh, the director's other movie feature, like Cradle of Fear, is really cool too. But I really love these ones. The makeup effects make the movie splatter, fun, 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 awesome stuff. You could probably find them the download, or maybe, I don't know, maybe VHS is floating around. I doubt it's very easy to find. But I would love this to get a U.S. release and maybe some even better uh, releases of them. But uh, that's Bad Karma, which is great, Drill Bit, which is the best, Night Pastor, which is cool, and Chainsaw Scumfuck, which is also really cool. It's kind of like a big screw you to the BBBC in the very beginning because they're just showing, like, like harsh language, fuck, 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 fuck on paper. Really cool stuff. Uh, you know, be nice if there's more directors out there. If this guy's still making movies, I think he has one coming out in a little bit. But uh, be nice if there's a lot of directors. I know there's a lot of directors like this still. I know Ryan Nicholson's still out there and Fred Vogel and stuff, but... Uh, directors with balls, I mean. Thank you uh, for watching, and have a good one. Bye. To consider some of our beliefs.
would like to make a donation. Bloody hell, what, what's going on? <laughs> Then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, what's the pun? Sarah Jane, it's the only answer. What is when was the last time you tell something you hadn't failed? When was the last time you buzzed about your sexual prowess without being Distant distance by your friends, shunned by your family, and generally hated and ignored by the rest of society. How long? Too fucking long. But now, thanks to radically bodacious and futuristically beneficial discoveries in the field of medicine, those gnarly guys at the HEX laboratories have found the answer. The only answer for AIDS, HIV, and related diseases. It's called Sarah Kane, dudes! And from April 23rd, it's available worldwide! So I want all you babes and babies! On Gut Stream Streets, necrophilic biker gangs enforce their own brutally perverted and inhumane justice. <laughs> Twisted by uncontrollable rage and driven to abominable acts of slaughter and atrocity.